Kia ora koutou. Well, right now we're at Allen's Beach and this is Rachel. Rachel's an archaeologist but you're also whakapapa to the Otako area and you've had involvement with Pakake, you've been around them a lot and I'm really interested though Rachel in, in, as you're, within your role as a archaeologist. You've found a lot about Pakake uh, from a Mataraka a historical perspective. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah so um have found that uh, that uh, pākake were quite an important um, resource uh, for our tūpuna here in uh, southern Te Waipounamu. Uh, so uh, not only were they uh, used for food, in fact they were quite a, an important source of, of food for our tūpuna. Um, everyone's heard of the moor hunters back from the long, long, long ago. Well, our tūpuna down here were, uh, were pākaki hunters, just as much as they were moor hunters. Um, and they were really, really good at uh, making sure nothing went to waste. So in mm. addition to eating uh, pākaki, um, parts of the pākaki were then used to uh, make tools and clothing. Um, and so, you know, it just shows that, that um, integral connected relationship that uh, our tūpuna had uh, with pākaki. So one of the most common tools that uh, we find uh, within archaeological and museum contexts uh, that have come from pākaki uh, are fish hooks uh, uh, used for fishing out at sea. So um, the jawbone from the pākaki um, was nice the most strong. commonly, yeah, yeah, you don't have to do too much shaping. Yeah. So if you get this part of the jawbone here, you've already got the, you know, the, the shank hook. basically and then just attaching or sometimes even they would um, leave a tooth in there um, and sort of just sort of fix that in there so the nice. tooth uh, became the point or if it didn't have a tooth the socket would be used to put a, a fit, you know a hook point in there and then lashed um, and used for fishing as well. Cut by. Yeah yeah. And so that knowledge and that must really uh, increase that connection that you have with pakake, you know, knowing about your tūpuna and the uses that they had and then now going forward with the population building, that must really strengthen your connection. Yeah, it does that and some of the oral histories that have come down as well. So, um, there are whakatauaki, you know, or um, sayings from our tūpuna that have been collected over time um, and there's one that I honestly cannot remember uh, off the top of my head right now but it refers to one of our important tūpuna from this area um, that the only thing he was ever scared of was a pākaki. <laughs> well just looking at them over there, a couple of big males, yeah. you know, they can be quite intimidating. Uh, but that's really neat, thanks for giving us just that little insight, you know, because we're starting to build a bigger picture, you know, we're looking at the situation now since breeding on the mainland and having a bit of a look back in time as well as building that bigger picture. Kia ora Rachel. Kia ora.